Wednesday 2nd of September, day 3 at work. Yay! It's uh, 1 degree, 7 o'clock in the morning, and I think it's about 13 degrees in Perth right now at 3 o'clock in the morning. We're going to hit a high of 9 degrees today, but Darfield, where I'm working, is closer to the mountains, uh, so it will be colder there again. Anyway, I have thermals, so it's all good, and long shirts and lots of layers, so I will be fine. Uh, a few days ago, we booked tickets to fly home to Perth. I found some direct flights through Air New Zealand to uh, fly straight home to Perth. Ruby was keen to get home for the end of the year, so we paid $1,000 each and bought some tickets. And 24 hours later, yesterday, they were cancelled. And all flights to Perth have been cancelled until into next year. Uh, luckily, Luckily I'm able to get a refund, so I've organised that and uh, we're not going to be able to get home for Christmas as Ruby wanted and I'll have to investigate those uh, flights into next year because even though I've put in, you know, quickly had a look, uh, they're not all direct and I'll have to find a direct one. And the other the other issue is the car. Uh, I've been looking at getting it transported from Melbourne to Perth, so you know it's waiting for us if we fly into Perth, and it's you know out of Frost's driveway. It's been sitting there now for you know months. So carriers won't take vehicles with personal items on board, and of course our lives are in that car as well uh, things like the gas bottles you know dangerous goods I don't take them either so it's been um, a couple of days that I've you know put it up on a website to get quotes for and nothing nothing I can't the rail doesn't go from Melbourne and Sydney anymore only from Adelaide and uh, the one I had lined up you know they won't take personal goods so that's another drama as well just have to see how that one pans out but yeah it's not looking good we're still in New Zealand and our car's still in Melbourne and nothing has changed and COVID is still going around the world uh, and I have to work longer one thing New Zealanders do really really well are hedges and as fences and then South Island does them so much better than the North Island. They're so thick and luxurious. They're a little bit scraggly at the moment because uh, they're, uh, they're lambing and carving. So they're not as nice and neat and square as we have seen them earlier on in the year, but I'm sure they'll get there. And my one consolation about going to work in uh, Darfield is the view. And I don't think you'll be able to get it quite on the screen here, but the mountains are just awesome to be driving to. And after our snow yesterday, they're just covered and they're just white and they're just really, really pretty. So I'm just going to enjoy the view every day I go to work, even if, you know, work is a bit drudgery. Certainly can't complain. Thursday 3rd of September and it's minus 3 degrees and I've woken up to a really heavy frost so there's ice all over the car all over the windscreen I've had the van running now for a few minutes and hopefully it won't take much to get that ice off that windscreen it's freezing it's absolutely freezing <laughs> <laughs> 